Good day to you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Faith without works is not faith. James chapter 2, verses 14 through 18. What does it profit, my brethren, if someone says he has faith, but does not have works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you says to them, Depart in peace, be warmed and filled, but you do not give them the things which are needed for the body. What does it profit? Thus also, faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. But someone will say, You have faith, and I have works. Show me your faith without your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. Faith without works is dead. Now that is the saying that we know, but do we understand? Faith without works is not faith at all. Faith requires action. If we say we believe, but we do not act on that belief, then our belief is not true. It's null and void. It's of no no value. Basically, it is a lie. It is a self-deception. Not every act of faith needs to be a grandiose public act. We don't want to be praised by men, but we want to be as our Lord and follow Him. We can't follow by sitting or standing still. We need to move to take action. Without acting in faith, on the belief of our faith, there is no evidence that we believe at all. Then we are just giving lip service. It's just empty words. For our belief and our faith to mean something, we must act to help those around us in any way we can, even just little ways. By ourselves, we cannot create a miracle or do any great thing. But with God, we can contribute and be a part of His miracles and His great things for His honor and His glory. To show the love He has for all of us and to show that love to others. So I want to thank you for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day. May the Lord bless you and keep you safe. And remember, God loves you.